Let me just address the elephant in the room before we continue any further. Yes, my hair is lighter, and yes, it does look a little bit orangey than usual. <laughs> you are not imagining things. So let me explain. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, and if you're not, you definitely should, you already know the reason as to why my hair is currently looking a little more on the brassy side than usual. But for those of you who don't follow me over on Snapchat, a couple of days ago, I had a natural treatment. It's called a perfection smooth out treatment. It's a treatment by Pravana. It's an all natural treatment that is supposed to smooth out your hair, eliminate frizz, and make it easier to manage. As much as I love this treatment and the way it changed my hair, guys, this is my hair after I just washed it and I didn't style it or anything. I have to say it does have lemon in it, which lightens your hair and because I went from being super blonde to super dark and then I had this treatment I guess some of my blonde decided to show through and I got this brassy disaster. This is just temporary. I do have a hair appointment with my colorist in a few days. So there might be a couple videos of me with this hair color. So please disregard that. Let's just focus on the actual content of this video. So I just wanted to put it out there. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So it looks like you guys really love when I do hack videos or videos in general on how to achieve perfect, flawless skin. I think everybody and their mom wants perfect, flawless skin, and it's one of those things that is so hard to attain unless you are genetically blessed. And I have to be completely honest, for the majority of my life, I have been one of those genetically blessed individuals that never had a pimple. Aside from that rare spot or two right about at that time of the month, I've always had clear skin. My skin has always been smooth. But as you guys know, if you've been following me since the start of this channel, sometime around in the summer of 2016, my skin started to change. I started to get texture on my skin. I started to get active breakouts all the time. And even though I got control over the majority of my active breakouts, I'm still dealing with leftover acne marks on my skin. So for the most part, my skin is flat, but I do have some red spots on my skin that are basically remnants from the acne that I had a few months ago. So because I have been dealing with all of these skin issues, I took it upon myself to find a bunch of hacks and tricks and tips on how to make my skin look more flawless. And the hacks and tricks and tips that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video are gonna help you achieve flawless skin in five to 10 minutes. So it's perfect for those of you who are constantly on the go or in a hurry. There's absolutely no reason why anyone doesn't have five to 10 minutes every single day to make themselves feel a little bit more put together. These hacks are a lazy girl's best friend. So without further ado, if you want to know what my flawless skin beauty hacks that I think every girl needs to know are, then please keep watching. So as you can see, I have some darkness under my eyes and a lot of acne marks on my skin that I want to even out. I also have dry skin, so the first thing I do to make my skin look healthier and more glowy is to use an illuminating primer like the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Afterglow Primer. And before you apply any makeup products, you always want to make sure that you've cleansed, toned, and moisturized your skin. Next, I'm using my favorite concealer to conceal my dark circles and acne marks on my skin. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Light. This is a full coverage concealer that blends out like a freaking dream and covers literally everything without being cakey in the slightest. In my opinion, this is seriously one of the most underrated makeup products on the planet and I'm completely obsessed with it. I'll link all of the products I use in this video in my description box for those of you who are interested. Okay, so after I've applied my concealer, I blend it out with a damp beauty blender and any excess product that's left over, I dab on my forehead just so that everything looks even. And then I go ahead and touch up my brows. You don't have to do this step, but I feel more me when I have my brows filled in.
Next, I apply a soft highlight to all of the high points on my face. And for this, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlight in the number two, which is the perfect pale neutral gold. This stuff just makes your skin look so healthy and luminous. So when I'm doing a very quick makeup look like this, I like to apply it to my cheekbones, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin, pretty much all over my face. Okay, and to blur out any lines and make everything look smooth and perfected, I lightly buff all three shades of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette with a stippling brush all over my face, but I'm concentrating it under my eyes and on the cheekbones. This will just diffuse everything and brighten the under eye area and make your skin look flawless. Another little trick I like to do on my natural makeup days is to curl my lashes because it gives them a little extra lift and makes me look more awake. For my lips, I like to use a nudish lip pencil like this one by Makeup Forever in number 21 to add a natural stained look to my lips. And then to finish everything off and hydrate my skin throughout the day, I like to use a hydrating face mist like this one by Earth Science. I seriously have no idea what's in this stuff, but it leaves my skin so hydrated and smooth all day long. It's amazeballs. Hey, can I tell you a secret? If you're subscribed to my channel, you might still be missing out on my content. To make sure you don't miss my next video, click on this little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check off this box to receive notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. Want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube? Follow me on Instagram, Snap, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. I bet you love french fries. I mean, who doesn't? They're crispy and tasty and you can eat them with your hands. Problem is, most french fries are made of starchy white potatoes that don't have much nutritional value, especially after they've been deep fried in oil. That's why I wanted to show you these four french fry hacks using other more nutritious veggies that taste delicious and will trick your mind into thinking they're bad for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. 